Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to today's video. Today, I am going to be showing you guys my favorite Uzi setup that I have going on right now. Real quick before we get entirely into this video, I want to make a video that's going to be called like you make my class or like top comment is my class. But basically, guys, the top comments of this video that like the most liked comment of this video with that create a class in Modern Warfare is going to be the class I'm going to use for the next video. So either type out a class that you want me to use for the next video or find the class in the comment section that you like and leave a like on it because the top comment like always goes to the top like the most liked and this will be the class i'm going to use in the next video the next call of duty video this is the class that i think right now is the best uzi class for at least for a search and destroy if i wasn't playing search i would take off either the mono or actually i would definitely take off the uh, mono i would keep the carbine pro take off the mono and add side of hand if i wasn't playing search but for search and destroy, I keep the mono on, and mostly I keep the mono on because of the <laughs> because of the USA flag skin I have on it. But I actually like it, so I I kept it for that reason. But I actually like the setup a ton, so I'm glad I did that. So monolithic suppressor, as you guys know, add sound range and sound suppressor and damage range, which is nice. Do this thing if when you add monolithic suppressor, the FSS carbine pro, and the .41 AE round mags, this thing destroys at any range it's like literally nuts the only thing that's really annoying about this class is this barrel and the ammunition are a pain to unlock so basically to unlock this you have to unlock the 50 round mag and then you have to get i think it's like three hit five hit fire kills in five rounds with the 50 round mag attached and i think that things like that are so lame like i don't like those kind of unlocks like where you have to do specific stuff so this one wasn't so bad but the one that's like really annoying is you have to so after you unlock the 0.41 ae round mag you then have to equip that you have to equip the standard issue woodstock and you have to equip any barrel and then you have for like you have to get like two long shots in five different games to unlock this carbine pro which is like super annoying obviously it's not that hard but like when you want it now like i would rather just pop a double weapon xp token and unlock like unlock it but i had to play like seven games because i wasn't getting the long shots in like all the games because i had like the crappy uzi setup but i got it and so i love the setup so the fss carbine pro definitely nice and then i like the no stock if you want you could try the close quarters if you don't like because of the no stock uh, nerf that just happened recently but i i don't mind it if you if you just want to use the close quarters though and have less recoil you could totally do that but also your movement speed is going to be lowered and then stipple obviously for the you know sprint to fire speed and aim down sight speed you could do rubberized once again if you're scared of the recoil but i think it's fine to be quite honest i know shipment 24 7 is like pretty toxic but when you have shipment 24 7 you can't you can't pass that opportunity i mean you have to play it because i want obsidian on all my smgs even though i'm not gonna use obsidian over the american flag skin but i still want it another big thing i forgot to mention like my last minecraft video which if you guys haven't seen that you guys should def definitely go check out the twistcraft episode one but we are we did get invited to the twistcraft server which i'm like super happy about and with being invited to the twistcraft server obviously i gotta make episodes on it which i'm super excited about my first one got like 40 plus views in like two or three hours which is insane on this for like for my channel that's insane numbers so i'm definitely gonna keep posting those the problem is i just have to find a good balance because i had that problem with pokemon where i was posting too much pokemon not enough cod even though cod is like the favorite like my favorite game and the favorite game on this channel wow i suck right there so what i think i'm gonna do is post two minecraft videos a week and then three call of duty videos a week and then i'm gonna keep 99% of the streams to Call of Duty, and then every once in a while I'll do a Twistcraft stream. And then another update I totally forgot to mention in the Minecraft video is this new backdrop. The current behind me, totally forgot to mention, I'm getting smoked right now. This uh this class isn't necessarily the best for shipment because it's meant for search and destroy like long range. 
if you need to, but it can it can handle up close. But it's not it's not really the best for shipment when you have everyone just freaking spawning all over you. The backdrop, so my wife, I've mentioned this a hundred times, she was a night shift nurse. So I would always play while she was at work. And now she's a day shift nurse, which is incredible. But it's, so now she's asleep while I'm playing. So I had to add this curtain behind me to kind of help with the soundproofing. Oh, I'm gonna smoke you, yeah, dude. I had this curtain behind me to help with the soundproofing in my office. So that's why that new curtain is there behind me. Because right now she's sleeping as I'm recording this. Instead of like awake and at work, I just choked my VTOL. I bet it spawns me in my precision. Yep, who would have thought? Good, good game, Call of Duty. I got triple that. Let's see here. What other announcement? Oh, the other thing I wanted to say is I am finally, I'm so happy. Finally, I decided just to say screw it. And I got the scuff controller. Because if you don't know, oh, another one spawned here. Jeez Louise, that was a triple. But I've been playing Scuff this whole time, and I like Scuff be or Scuff. I've been playing Claw this whole time, and I like Claw because it's like basically free Scuff controller. But I, I can't do it anymore. So it doesn't hurt my hands right now, but I know that it's going to, like, I need to go prone. I know it's going to start hurting my hands if I don't, like, take care of myself now, especially when I'm older. And I know that sounds, like, really lame, but it's, like, that's, like, a real thing. You know, like, my hands... If, I, if I'm just sitting, like, on my couch, and I let my hand rest, it will start, like, my hand will naturally just start to curl. Like, look, this is, look, I'm gonna have it straight, I'm gonna let it go, and it starts to curl by itself, because I, like, play games a lot. And I don't want my hand to start curling in a claw motion, because I play claw on PlayStation too much, so, or on Call of Duty too much. So I got the scuff controller, and I'm actually using it right now. And so I use it, I just got done with the stream, if you guys didn't watch that last night. You, uh, it was pretty good, but it was also like my first time using this scuff controller and right now I'm using the scuff controller and I like it, but I just, just like when I first started playing Claw, it's going to take me a little bit to get used to it. Dude, Domination Shipment is literally the best game mode. I mean, it's so perfect. You get so many kills. We are, we are hovering at, as I'm recording this, we're hovering, we keep going up and down, but we're hovering at 355 subscribers, which is freaking awesome. I'm really, guys, 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 I'm really hoping we can hit this 500 subs by the end of July to come out with this Edgar merch. If we don't, I mean, we're gonna have to figure out something with this Edgar merch because I just, uh, I got the Edgar merch being made right now. I, it's like, it's a, this is a real thing. Like, it's, I just found an artist who's gonna make the art for me. And then once they have the art for me, which should be like within a week, hopefully like sooner, but once they have the art to me, then I can find like what t shirt company I wanna go through and bada bing bada boom, it'll be a thing. But you guys gotta, if you guys want it before July, if you guys want it in July, then you guys are gonna have to, you know, help me out here. Help me get to 500 subs. And if you don't help me get to 500 subs by July, then I'm gonna, I mean, I don't know. We're, maybe we'll have to make it wait to be uh, a holiday drop. Who knows what we're gonna do. Okay, don't don't sit up top. What are you doing? Yeah, you're, you're gonna see me a lot, like, mess up my buns. Especially when I was uh, streaming Search and Destroy earlier today. I do it, like, I was messing up a lot of things. Like, I was reloading when I meant to prone messing up my side cancels a lot but it's okay I'm, I'm gonna get the scuff thing down i got the scuff vantage 2 and there's no the only reason is because i went to gamestop and that's literally the only one they had but i actually i love it because that has the four buns on the back and it has the buns on the sides right here too so i have six extra buns which is so that the two buns on the side they don't actually help with anything but they're nice for war zone because now i can ping people which like without taking off my without taking my finger off the left thumbstick so I love, I love that. I love this controller right now. Like I love, I, I know I'm gonna like get used to it, but my problem with scuff, the reason I didn't get a scuff this whole time is for, for one, they're a little bit pricey, but that's, that's whatever. I mean, things that are nice are pricey. You know what I'm saying? So I don't mind that too much. Let me just smoke you real quick. The other reason is I'm very, very impatient. So whenever I order something online, I'm just constantly checking the tracking. The second I hit order, I'm like hitting the tracking. And that's, you know, it's, it takes a while for them to make a scuff and then get it to your house. So this one, I found, like, at my local GameStop. So I was just like, I wanted it, called GameStop. They said that they had one more, came in and got it. Bada bing, bada boom. If they, if GameStop would have said that they didn't have it in stock, then I probably would, like, I would not have ordered one online. Like, I just, I can't do it. I'm, I know that's, like, really dumb, and it sounds stupid, too, and I know it does, but that's just how I function. I'm a really impatient person. That's one of my biggest flaws in life. Is how impatient I am. I also feel bad with how much like I annoy people. That's why. That's another reason like why I don't collab with people. I want to collab with people, but I'm like really impatient, and my schedule sucks really bad. It's been one of the best perks actually for me joining Twist Clan. One of the best perks is 
our Twist Tuesdays. If you guys don't know, if you guys go sub to the Twist Clan YouTube channel, you definitely should. They just we just hit 9,000 subs not too long ago. During the 24-hour stream was actually when we hit 9,000 subs, and every Tuesday the content team makes a video and we all like collab on it together, and it's a ton of fun. And I'm I'm like so happy that we've been doing that because it gets me like out of my shell of doing stuff by myself besides playing search and destroy with just my family members and it helps like it's helping me get used to the idea of like collabing with people oh that was my teammate it helps me get used to the idea of collabing with people so like in the future if i can actually start collabing with other people then you know i, I kind of have like a system down the only thing that sucks right now is like all the people who i want to collab with are uk people and it's just so hard to collab when one of us is gonna have to lag either i'm gonna have to lag or they're gonna have to lag the people who I would, like would really love to collab with is obviously like all the people in Twist Clan. So like Lordy, Leo, Mattress, Pips, Turtles. I mean all the all the content team. Who did I miss? I didn't hundred percent miss someone, didn't I? And I'm gonna look so stupid. I, I think that was it. I feel dumb. Who, whoever I possibly missed, sorry about that. You know what I mean? It's 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 1:30 a.m. as I'm recording this, and I have to be at work at 8 a.m. But I have to get this recording done. So that's that's my apologies. Non Twist Clan member who I want to like. There's a few like non Twist members who I really want to collab with too. Like Muggos, definitely one. If you guys haven't been watching Muggos' channel, he's been one of the uh, potential like content creator RCs that he's been posting like going for Twist Clan. And dude, his his content's so good. I would love to make content with him too. But he's in the UK, so it's like I mean, it might, I'm sure we can make it happen one day, but it probably won't be Call of Duty. Another thing I want to remind you guys is if you do want any Twist Clan merch, remember to use root, code Rudy at checkout on the Teespring's website for five percent off. Don't forget to do that. You know, if you're looking to get Twist Clan merch anyway, then that's going to give you five percent off for free, and it's also going to show the Twist Clan leaders that people are using code Rudy at checkout, which supports me, which is pretty awesome. I haven't even been talking about the Uzi in this video. I've been talking about everything else, but yeah, this Uzi, like especially for search is like basically a two or three kill shot at like almost any range which is just incredible and then when you have the monolithic suppressor like with that adding range it's also adding like suppression so people don't always know like where your shots are from especially if they're not communicating with their teammates i mean look at i'm just like ripping th i mean look look at this oh dude oh my goodness i'm literally ripping through these nerds you know what i'm saying like this gun is it's good i i still think the post patch or pre patch mp5 was better than this another reason why you can tell that this uzi is like really good is because the pros have already ga'd this like uzi with the 42 what's it the new like the new ammo like attachment they've already ga'd that if you don't know what that means it means that they've gentlemen's agreed to ban it so competitive there's like a lot of things that are banned like claymores and stuff like that but the call of duty league they don't want they don't want to ban like half their playlists are half their stuff because to them it looks bad to like the casual audience so the pros they just create their own like ban list and then they they put that on their own time so like they put that during tournaments and stuff they just it's called ga for gentlemen's agreement they're just gentlemen's to not use like for instance like one thing that's banned right now is like the merc foregrip on all guns can't use the merc foregrip you can't use oh i just i'm smoking these kids so you can't use the merc foregrip you can't use i don't know what's all on it you can't use like I'm assuming just like shotguns is usually like on that list. There's just like stuff that you just can't use that's like the the basic bullcrap stuff that you hate to run into. So the new Uzi attachment is already on that list, which is how I know it's good. And that's actually the reason why on my MP5 I run the Merc 4 grip, because I used to run the Ranger 4 grip. And then the pros all banned the Merc 4 grip, and I was like, well, might as well use the Merc 4 grip. If it's banned, it's gotta be good, right? I was using the Ranger 4 grip for the longest time. I thought that was good too. I'm actually just a monster like on this shipment right now. I'm just. Dude, give me like probably, I would say probably give me three days with this scuff controller, and I'm gonna it's gonna be like natural, and then give me like a week, and I'll have it like mastered, you know, like to where everything will just be completely clean for me, and we're gonna, I mean, we're gonna have a good time playing some Call of Duty. I mean, I'm already messing up these nerds. I gotta mute this guy because he keeps breathing into the mic. Is my VTOL gonna get me any kills? Like, dude, I don't understand how the VTOL, like, if I call it a VTOL on this map, I don't understand how it's not getting me, like, literally 500 kills. Oh, another thing. So, like I was telling you guys, my wife is on the day shift now, which means she's, so, like, she's sleeping right now as I'm recording this video. So, I, I, you might be able to tell it. Hopefully, you kind of really can, but I, I do have to talk a little bit quieter during the videos now i think that what i'm gonna just do is like i just been talking quieter but raising my mic volume so you guys can't really tell all that much if it's not that bad though that's what like i really don't think it's that bad because like i watched the minecraft video back and i was talking low but i just turned up my mic volume 
and obviously you can like tell a slight difference but you really you really can't matter of fact i'm sure some of you guys didn't even notice until i just mentioned it and now that i mentioned it you might notice it but by the end of the video you're gonna forget all about it again that's like basically all the updates i have though like right now i've just been smashing with the uzi my wife's been switching over to day shift or so today like as i'm recording this was her first official day shift and then today as this oh i didn't mean to that's one of the scuff controller problems i accidentally hit reload i I, I gotta use all the paddles on the back. Let's see if there's precision air strike's gonna pop me any kills. There we go. Oh, I'm stunned. Oh, shake it off, dude. You love... I love seeing shake it off kills, bro. I love getting stunned and just still smoking you. Let's call, a, let's call on that. Let's get a precision on that. Let's get... Let's just get this dub, too, while we're here. Oh, if I would've freaking... If, I don't know if I got hit with some explosive there. All right, we have to win this. I don't... We don't accept losses on this channel, except for when we're doing challenges. Because then it's hard... We're running out of time. We have to get this. We have to clutch. No, no, no. Okay, I need to win. I need to win. I can't lose. I don't lose. Rudy, don't lose. Smoke front. Smoke front hill. I'm the guy. I got stunned and smoked by someone I don't even see. My teammates are on the... Like, dude, you guys are right next to the point. Dude, get on the point. We can't lose. We don't lose. Literally, just a couple more seconds, please. Thank you. I'm just going to not pre-fire that. I was going to... The floss. Dead. Thank you. Pre-fire right here. No, we're getting RPG'd, of course. Down the hill. Perfect. Literally, where am I? Let's go, we're winning. No, he's on it, he's on it, he's on it. He just took kill. Oh, no, wait, he got off. No, they're on it now. Okay, we have to kill them and then quickly sign on. No, no, no. I think we just lost. We just lost, didn't we? Yes, we did. Son of a gun, because as soon as they get off hill, they... No, dude. Dude, look at me. 75 and 44. I'm literally shredding these nerds. And we freaking lost, dude. I only have 27, 27 seconds on the hill, though, so that's probably my fault. Guys, that is going to do it for today's video. Guys, we are on the path to try to hit 500 subs by the end of July. Please, 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 if you're not already subscribed, please subscribe. If you are already subscribed, please tell your friends. We can do this together. If you haven't already, leave a like on the video. And don't forget, comment in the description, or not the description, comment down below the class that you want me to use in the next video. So, like, the challenge is going to be, I'm going to use whatever class is the top liked class. Now, if it's freaking combat knife only, then that's stupid, okay? Don't, I mean, if you do combat knife and throwing knives, I guess, but that, don't, don't do something, do something fun, okay? Let's do something fun. Let's do, like, a gun with silly attachments. I don't know. I'm not going to make any other rules besides no combat knife only. That's the only rule. You can't do combat knife only. If you wanted to do combat knife and right shield only, I guess we could do that, but no doing combat knife only. That's the only rule. See you guys in the next video. Goodbye.